friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to a layout share or actually project share video. I'm just going to share with you some of the projects that I created with some National Scrapbooking Day challenges. Um, and I know that I'm sharing this in the month of June. It's been a crazy month of May plus in the beginning of June, but I thought I'd share it because um, I don't have, I think I only have one. Yeah, there's only one process video for any of these and so I thought I'd share. So most of these were based off of the challenges from Scrapbook Generation and they have a Facebook group and they had a virtual crop for NSD and so most of them are for that particular crop or challenge um, but then they're also kind of combined with other stuff but let's just get started. So the first thing are cards. Um, there was just one challenge to share three different cards and so some of these I kind of have made parts of it before. I don't know if you remember the, the numbers that I had put in here. I did this for the very first digging through my stash A through Z layout and so I have already done this one and it was so easy to just put it together. I just have put it in a card on the card base and then just some of the scraps and then that's my card. And then the next one I actually made this background a while back. Um, this is one of my favorite stencils to date. This is a um, pink and main. It's a floral stencil. I'll try to link that in the description below if you want but this is just um, ink blending. That's what I'm trying to think. And then just leftover cut heart, I mean flowers, sorry, and then I just added it to a card base and that's it. And then this one, um, using my favorite things, rainbow dye and some um, clouds and then just a simple sentiment and put that on a card base. This actually silver card base was a leftover from the latest 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit video that I created. And um, so I just had some leftovers of that and I used this one. Now the next one, this is based off of a slim line card sketch, again from Scrapbook Generations. Um, I actually did not turn this in for the challenge because I didn't read the instructions very well that you were supposed to create two different kinds of cards, one that's more cool colors, the other one more warm colors. I didn't look at that part, I just looked at the sketch, but um, still I like the cards that I created. As you can tell, I've used pretty much the same papers here and the tag, and this happy is actually left over from the latest 10 handmade cards that I created, and I just added Father's Day because that's coming up, and then just papers for my scrap, and then two eight by, mm, yeah, eight by eight, it would have been eight by eight um, cardstock bases that were cut in half to make it four by eight. And then now we go on to layouts. This one was based off of a sketch from that crop. And the sketch called for some photos here. There were actually two by two photo here and then two two by two photos here. And then these were supposed to be triangles that were made into um, squares. Now. Um, I think it's a great way to use your scraps and I did use scraps here. However, I just, I didn't have enough time to like make triangles if that makes any sense. So what I did was I just added squares and then added some pen stitching to this. But even this took me a while. Like it's one day to do all of the, like the background splashing things because I felt like it was just too plain. And then the next one was putting the, cutting the papers, putting the photos, and then the next one they was putting the pen stitching. It took me a while to do this, but I love the results of it. And I also rummaged through a container in on my table with just a bunch of little things. I know you've seen these before. I made these from a previous 10 handmade cards, made these leaves from a previous layout, hearts were left over again from a previous layout, just a bunch of leftover stuff, but I'm glad that I was able to create this. And then this one has a process video with it. Um, I will try to make sure to link that in the description below if I forget. But anyways, this is process video, if I'm not mistaking, 241. And this one was based off of a prompt challenge from Scrapbook Generation, a um, product type of challenge from the Scrap Room Kit Club and then stamping from Scrapbook and Cards Today. And my favorite thing about this one was the silhouettes. Um, I haven't really used my die cut machine for scrapbooking that very much lately. In the past I've used it for titles but 
lately I've kind of been looking at images to cut for projects and so I put them together here and it was so easy because all you have to do is Google silhouette um, like a boy running silhouette type thing and you get that image and I made a um, a backing for that as well or a shadow I should say and that's that one and the last one and this one was I would say by far my favorite out of all of the layouts that I created this one was based off of a sketch from the scrap room kit club a the mixed media challenge from scrapbook and cards today and a recipe challenge from scrapbook generation so I created because of the mixed media I created the background with um, the stencil, my favorite stencil, like I was telling you, and just put that on the piece of the back side, actually, the white paper that I created. And then I'm just this, not, not this dress, um, added the inks with um, my blending brush. And then I used some papers here and just one photo, matted it. Um, I just, I love how this particular background turned out and I'm now thinking of all of the various stencils that I have and how I can turn that into my own background. Anyways, if you have any other questions about these projects, please put that in the comment section below. Let me know which one was your favorite out of all of the project projects that I've shared and I hope that you'll have a great day. Until next time, bye!